Uh, my dad is awesome, brave, heroic, and fun and caring. He used to go on deployments into Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria, and now he teaches ROTC at a college in Washington. And who are you? Uh, I'm his son. My name is Allison, and I have been married to Jeremy for 13 years. This entire experience being married to Jeremy with everything that he's done has been incredibly rewarding and incredibly difficult. Um, you know, you meet the soldier, fall in love, it's exciting, it's fun, it's romantic, and then reality sets in. And I honestly feel like the last 14 years have been 28 years of my life. Jeremy had been on three deployments by the time I met him, and then we did 15 of them together as a couple. How many birthdays and Christmases was your daddy not there for? Almost about my whole life. If I thought about it, I'd at least say four or five years. And in in gone. And how old are you? Nine. My dad really wasn't there when I did a lot of things that I wish he was there for. But I remember when he came home from Syria, it felt like a hundred birthdays in one present. One of the hardest parts of deployment that a lot of women don't talk about are the knocks on the doors. If, God forbid, your husband is killed overseas, you get a knock on your door and they'll tell you, you know, that your husband is dead. So if someone was coming over unexpectedly, even if it was a delivery, every time there was a knock on the door or the door, doorbell rang, I would just get this sick feeling in my heart. And all the women that I was friends with, the other wives would say the same thing, that every single knock or doorbell ring, you think that your husband is dead. And you go through that all day, every day, through every deployment. How hard is it for your mommy when your dad's gone? Can you talk about how hard that is for her? I feel like it's harder because it's just one parent, not two. And you're crazy, right? <laughs> <laughs> My dad always calls me the monkey of the family. <laughs> it just made me think that I hope this is his last one every single time I came, every time I saw him for the first time after he came back because I just really missed him and after not seeing him for a long time. Being a mom throughout all of this has been the hardest part by far. Because you don't want them to carry the burden of what this life brings to people. You want them to grow up loving the sport games that they're going to. You want them to experience joy and comfort and protection and you can only provide that so much, but you also have to raise them. Knowing the reality of the situation that there's a really good chance that their dad's not coming home. Uh, I'm Josh McCain. I'm the founder and president of Big Sky Bravery. With Jeremy, he's my hero. I've never met anyone in my life that's impacted me as much as he has. Um, so much so that um, Jeremy wouldn't have been in special operations, I wouldn't be here. I truly feel that if I wouldn't have started this organization, he may have lost his own life. And, you know, that's something I don't... I don't want to see happen to any of these guys. But now I have 100 and, you know, 75 other men in my life that I consider brothers that I carry the same weight on. And these men are not worth forgetting. These men and women both that are over there doing this work on our behalf is something that should be in the forefront of our minds. Um, yeah, I don't know way to say it besides that.